It's time to build a MailerLite landing page. In this video, we'll be using the free MailerLite, and I will show you how to create a landing page, add different blocks or elements, how to customize and design and style the elements, make it look exactly how you want it, as well as show you how to edit the backend landing page settings connected to automations and stuff like that. Let's go. What's up, bloggers and podcasters who want to make money via the internet? Welcome to Do Even Blog. My name is Pete McPherson, and let's dive into MailerLite landing pages. So to create our landing page, we are going to navigate to Sites. I don't know why they call it that, but they do. We're going to click Create Landing Page here. We're going to name our landing page. Let's say Test Freebie Opt-in Page. I clicked save and continue, and now I get to choose my subscriber group. Check that and hit save and continue. At this point, it's actually going to present me with some pre-made templates. I don't know why they don't give you an option right here that says start from scratch, but I'm actually gonna show you a really cool trick to start from scratch here in a second. Or just hit select and it will open it right up. And just like that, we are in the landing page editor here in MailerLite. You can scroll over in this section to obviously see the landing page. There will be a bunch of blocks you can add right here. We'll go through a few of these and show you the settings, as well as the overall page settings, which can be found right here, where you can change the basic layout of the page and some other stuff. We'll get to this in a second. I'm actually gonna show you how to remove all of this. Let's say you wanted to start from scratch. You could actually go to Actions, Remove All Content Blocks. It's gonna give you a warning. Hey, are you sure you wanna do this? You type in Remove, hit Remove, and it actually remove all of the content blocks. Pretty neat though. So this landing page actually does not have a header or a footer, but you're uh, welcome to add one of those over here in settings, page options, include page header, includes page footer. You can also do like a small notification bar up at the top. That's what this looks like. And you can see my header is pretty much blank right here. But of course you click in here to edit. So this brings up the first big point I wanna make. You can hover your mouse over any of these blocks and remove things, edit things. You can see this plus sign. I can add a new block underneath it. I could click and choose one content column. Add that right there. I could click the edit button, which looks like this. You click that and it would actually bring up the edit. Or by the way, if you're somewhere else looking at something different and you wanna come edit it, just click in there. Click, it'll actually bring up the edit functions right there. These other buttons, trash, obviously delete it, duplicate this section, and you can move this section up and down on the page using the buttons or dragging the entire block. So for each section, obviously what appears over here in the editor will actually be a little bit different, but all of them are gonna have a place where you edit the actual content, and then when you edit some of the behind the scenes settings, spacing, bottom spacing, content width, medium width, narrow, stuff like that. You can also edit the success page. After somebody opts in using the form on the landing page, you can edit that by clicking up here, success page. You can also hit preview. It will open in this same window, and you'll see a little preview on it. We'll do that in a minute. By the way, if you are just looking for an opt-in form that you can put on your website anywhere and connect that to a freebie download, a lead magnet, you can actually watch this video. I have a full walkthrough. It's actually really short and sweet on how to do that. So let's actually walk through creating a new one from scratch for a very small opt-in page. This will be, give a, a great example of how to create a landing page. I'm actually gonna remove all these content blocks. I'm also going to delete, I'm gonna hit save right here. It's gonna bring me back to my big page level settings. And I'm gonna delete the header and the footer and the notification bar at the top. I'm completely blank now. Pro tip, by the way, something you might wanna do often is just save. Right, go ahead and save and publish, or you can also save as a draft using that same button you saw just there. All right, so let's experiment with some blocks here, my page. I want a big heading up front. I'm gonna drag heading over here. I'm gonna say heading one. I'm gonna, in the content field here, grab our free guide, in all caps, obviously, settings. I wanna make it mm, medium, narrow. It doesn't matter, top spacing, I wanna make it a little bit further from the top, bottom spacing about the same, I'll drag that in there. You can also add like backgrounds to pretty much any of these blocks. I'm actually gonna click background right here. You could change the color, obviously, you could make you know, a bunch of pretty colors right here, or you can do an image. I'm gonna do an image and then just drag and drop, or you just click upload, actually, upload image. There it is, I'm gonna select this. You can click to preview, obviously, select that. All right, there you go, it's in. Now the sizing is a little off. You can add more 
top spacing right here. I can make that like that. Maybe move it like over here. Now we're looking pretty good. Grab our free guide. I'll actually change the color of this to be a little different. Come in here under content style. I can change the fonts to Helvetica. I'm gonna make it like a bright color, yellow. Grab our free guide right there. You could add in your own custom colors. Italics, underline, letter spacing, alignment. I wanna make mine in the middle right here. Hit save, hit save, and then you're done. So this is a good point before we add any more blocks. I'm gonna come over here to the settings tab. This controls the page settings. Full width, obviously this stretches to the end of the page. Container kind of brings it in a little bit right there. Transparent background, <laughs> obviously. I'm gonna do full width just because I have a full width image right here. It looks good. You can also choose to do regular spacing or large spacing, more spacing. You'll see what that looks like as we add more content blocks right here. You can also choose like default fonts. It'd be really handy. Like I wanna do all Helvetica. I wanna make all of the backgrounds this color or that color. Like for the page background, I wanna do yellow. And so I'll do that. You can style different elements that you're gonna be adding to the page, inputs, uh, all these things at the page level so you don't have to do it for each content block. So let's add just a few more blocks right here to our landing page. Uh, headers, text, obviously images. Image plus content is actually what I wanna add underneath this. Image plus content, let's go ahead and drag that in where we want it. I would put like a maybe a nice screenshot of my freebie right here and you can edit any of these things. Uh, let's take away heading number two. I don't actually like the way that looks. I'm just gonna hit delete. Heading number one, this free guide is awesome. I would update the copywriting, the detailed bullet point list maybe. And then maybe end with like a little call to action. Grab it below. So I actually don't want the buttons either because I'm gonna do a form, but you could add a button right here that went to another landing page or just a page with an opt-in form or something like that. Uh, so you can see just by deleting the text right here, buttons, it's actually just removing them. <laughs> so here's my thing. Uh, without the buttons, it's all styled. Here are the different settings. Again, you'll recognize these. I wanna add more spacing to the top, more to the bottom. You can make this like medium. That kind of brought it in a little bit, or you could do narrow, that's even smaller, wide. I'm gonna keep it, uh, maybe medium. Adjust block height to screen size, it's pretty cool. You can choose whether to align things to the top or the bottom or the center. Uh, block ratio, <laughs> you can kind of see it's moving like, this is like 50-50, the image is taking up more. This is like a 50-50, sorry. And then the text could take up more. Different background colors, obviously, you could change right here, on or off. Remember, my I styled my page, with the background of yellow. That's why if I just turn this off. Same thing here, styling the text and buttons. I'm gonna hit save. You can see there's also multiple columns where you can add in different blocks or one content column where you can kind of add more blocks on there. Buttons, social icons. I'm gonna add a signup form right here. So let's add a simple signup form. We can drag it in right there. Stay up to date. And maybe this is a call to action. Grab it here, et cetera, et cetera. You can add more text. If you want to, it should appear right there. Yep. So I am going to make this form a little bit smaller. Come in here and do narrow, stay up to date. A little bit of bottom spacing, a little bit of top spacing. I wanna add in a background color like that. That looks pretty good right there. I wanna change the button color as well. This is important. For just about every landing page you have, you're gonna to wanna to change the form settings. You can click in here. You can see form right here. This is where you can add new form fields. Like if you wanna add a first name field, you can see it added it automatically. You can click these little buttons to edit, label, you can make this field required. You can change different, like, uh, you know, the format of the field, et cetera, save changes. You can click and drag to move these up. I'm gonna put name first and then email. I'm also gonna just check in here to make sure email is required, which I think it is by default. I could add more right here. This is where you edit the form settings. Like I need to see a confirmation check mark for uh, GDPR or something. Privacy policy, you could add a link to that. Uh, Recaptcha, you could add one of those little guys. Uh, oh, oh, here's another GDR, GDPR specific thing. So maybe I'll just take away the rest of them and just have that. By the way, when you add more stuff like this, you can actually keep clicking around in the editor and you can see you can actually edit what these say specifically. It was one button to add a feature here on form settings, but you can actually click in here to edit. So maybe I'll come over here and just customize the, oh, I wanna change the color of <laughs> this background thing right here. Thank you, your freebie is on the way. Obviously you could type whatever right here, add more text, you could have more blocks. I am actually gonna figure out where to change this background color. I'm assuming it's gonna be this. 
Could be this. This is where you would edit this little heading block, though. So I'm going to assume this. Page background. Here are the background settings. I'll probably just, like, background on. Probably just turn it off. Yeah. There we go. Or you could come in here and it looks like there's a little split thing. Background repeat none, maybe. Uh, I'd have to change that background, too, it looks like. Or you could just click off. Cool. Now we're looking good. I'm going to click Save and Update. So before I preview what we have here, it's uh, important to hit Save and Publish. You'll be walk through a few of the backend settings right here. So landing page URL and favicon. The favicon is obviously this little thing up here, if you can see my mouse. And the URL is obviously this. You can copy the URL from here, by the way, and just, it's already published, so we should see something right here. Yeah, there it is. Uh, but you can click edit right here. You can change the URL. If you have a custom domain set up on a paid MailerLite plan, obviously you'll want to do that. I don't have one of those. So I would just do like some freebie. One, two, three, one, two, three. Favicon settings, SEO settings. You can change the page title. DYEB Mailer Light is this page title. Page keywords, page description, add that in there. Allow search engines to index this page if you want them, uh, if you want this landing page to show up in search results. Hit save and continue. Oh, while that's loading, analytics and custom code. If you want to hook up uh, Google Analytics or a Facebook pixel, that is the button you would click. Let's actually just see what that looks like. Sorry, I went back. Google Analytics, Facebook Pixel, Clicks Heat Map, Header Code, Page Code. If you need to add anything to the headers and footers right there is where you do it. And I hit Publish. You can also turn on or off double opt-in right here. You can also see Analytics. Obviously, how many subscribers have uh, <laughs> opted in using this landing page, visits. We don't have any, of course. But the last part is obviously you can hit Preview here. You can Unpublish, which will save it as a draft. Uh, if you have a paid MailerLite plan, you can create a split test where you test two different landing pages against each other to see which one converts better. I am going to click preview right here and see what this looks like. I can preview desktop or mobile. Here's my free guide. You can see me speaking right there. Here's my bullets that I made. Grab it below. Here's the actual opt-in form and pretty much good to go there. So I clicked on sites to see all of my landing pages. You can also see a little quick view of subscribers and views and your conversion rate right there. So you have your landing page right here. What if you wanted to send like a little opt-in freebie, like deliver the PDF via email or a welcome sequence or an autoresponder things. So I highly recommend you check out these other videos that are linked below this for setting up an autoresponder series, uh, creating an embeddable form to put anywhere on your website or the sidebar that's gonna deliver an opt-in freebie. Go check out that videos and subscribe to the Do Even Blog YouTube channel if you are a blogger or podcaster who wants to make money on the internet. Thank you for watching. Adios.